Let me turn to the audience. I mean, how many of you use the internet for shopping, and what's your what's been your experiences? Fasid, you wanna? Yeah. Um. I mean, it's easier to use the internet to um, access shopping facilities or anything. I mean, to order things online is cheaper. Is cheaper, and um, it can be free in some ways. I mean, saying um, say if I wanted this chair, I could go to the shop myself and collect it. But for me, it's a waste of energy. But using the internet, they have access to things like free delivery, or you save five pounds if you order online. For me, for my daily life, it would be an easier access of using the internet to order this online than actually going and collecting it. OK, so. so you're going for ease of use, but don't you think that's making us a bit lazy? What, what do other people think? It isn't really making us lazy, but um, for example, if you go to a shop, yeah and you're looking for something your size, you might not find it there. Um, it might happen a lot. Um, so if you're online, they will always have, like most of the time, you can say you want that size, and they'll have a lot of that size in their warehouse. Yeah, but having so said that, you different. can't then try those clothes. If you're buying clothes, you can't try them out online, so doesn't it balance that? That, that does have the risk factor in it, but um, it, it saves you time as well. So it is making us lazy, it, but it does save you time if you have other things to do, if you have a lot of work to do okay. um, and stuff. But so we're living in a fast-paced society and everything's happening so fast, you don't have time to go to the shops, so you have to buy everything online. Um, not a lot of the time, but in, in, at times when you have exams or when you're okay. busy with courses. Yeah, no, it's a fair like comment. It, it's something I mean, Richard, let me turn to you. Um, socially, do you think our youngsters have become so busy that we don't even have time to go down to the shop to buy some clothes. I'm sure they'll discover the benefit of real shopping. I think as soon as they develop back trouble and need to buy a bed, they will definitely not buy that off the internet. It's the sort of thing you really need to go and lie on and see if you feel comfortable in it. And, and again, I think with fruit and veg shopping, I, I like to, I'm afraid, go and feel it and um, smell it and see if it's ripe. There's no way, there, there are so many things. Until the internet can actually give us the entire multi-sensory experience, which mm. is perhaps a little way off, um, I think I'll still be doing real shopping, as well as using the internet as a, as a complementary thing. Okay, um, Fuzzle, do you think we've just become a lazy society? Well, I'll come back to the point I made earlier. It's not just about what you're trying to buy. Yes, you could see the, the chair or the, the banana on the internet. You can't see the face of the person you're selling to. You can't see their mood and whether they're in a position to give you a bargain, a discount. You know, all of that's gone, and, and that, that's the thing that I need, you know, that people try and use emoticons in their emails to say, oh, this, this is a joke, this is, but even that doesn't always come over. So I think with all of these new technologies that are coming up, people gradually will learn a discipline. Just as there was a telephone manner, there will be an email manner mm. that, you know, if there's a tendency to CC everyone on an email and all the people who get cc'd it have to open it read it and then realize actually there's only one line out of that 200 that applies to me you know in business i can think of you know a couple of big utilities companies in the south of england who said no cc on emails right. you only send an email to the person's action you don't cc it to anyone and there's that kind of discipline which i think will come over time okay uh, let's wrap up this discussion now we're going to take a quick break Join us afterwards, we're going to be discussing social networking and also the dangers that we need to be aware of when using the internet. ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفره إنه كان توابا Welcome back. On today's show we've been discussing the internet and in the second part of the program we're going to be discussing social networking. First of all, Jonathan, uh, do you think the young users of the internet today are relying too much on social networking sites? Are they relying too much on them? Um, I think they, they need to have a place of connection on the internet and using the internet is a great way of doing that because parents 
we're getting more intimidated by all the negative news that hits the press in terms of you know, people that can grab you off the streets. So you don't want your kids going out, so they tend to be prisoners. So this way, at least they can engage with their friends online and, and make those connections that will be much better done in person, but at least it's a stepping stone. Right, okay. Fuzzle, uh, what, what do you think of the, the birth of these social networking sites? What's your views? Um, it can be useful, but I think it has, everything has a place. Um, I'll, I'll relate it back to when people started to adopt computer games. And I remember when I was, well, I was a kid in the last millennium, how many hundred years ago, um, computer games were coming in, beautiful sunny day, Ten of us friends got together and said, should we go out and play cricket? And one of them piped up, yeah, come on then. So he said, just come upstairs. So he went upstairs, drew the curtains. It's a sunny day, drew the curtains, got out his computer cricket. And that's what I mean. Everything has its place, but we shouldn't lose personal engagement and personal experience for virtualization. You know, you can, you can go on the internet and see what Barcelona is like, right. but there's nothing like going and visiting. Okay. You can look at what food is like on the internet, but there's nothing like going and tasting it yourself. Okay. Richard, let me turn to you. What about the psychological implications of using these social networking sites? Well, I, I make a, an ordinary man comment, which is echoing Jonathan and uh, as a real life, please. Um, social no networking is, is great, but the message to parents should be don't be paranoid about the real life that's out there. There aren't that many dangerous strangers, they're very, very rare. Other people out there, they're the most fascinating thing around. Right, okay. Uh, but some commentators have said that actually using the internet for uh, talking to people is actually affecting our social skills. What do you, what do you think about that? It's, it's very difficult to share a really good laugh on the internet. It's right. not the same thing. Simple as that. Okay. And um, Fazal, what do you think? Do you think it's affecting our actual social skills, one to one communication? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, I gave the example earlier about shopping. You know, yes, on the internet, you've got most of the mechanical bits there. You can, nowadays, you can, you can see what the items are on the shelf. You've got a virtual shelf. Um, you can put things into your checkout and pay for them. Yeah. But you can't talk to the person who's selling it, and you can't even imagine who's selling it. And it's less so with Tesco, but if you've got a small boutique that you're going to for some artwork or for some... Sh shoes that they've made, yeah. you've got no idea whether they're a small company or a big company. On the internet, they all look the same. Okay, That's okay. the danger. Let's, uh, let's move to the audience. I mean, all of you use uh, the internet in your daily lives. How do you think it affects your actual social interactions with, uh, with your friends and family? Can you get some views? Um, it means that you won't really go out as much to talk to your friends. Um, you'd rather talk to them over the internet because it's easier. Um, don't waste a lot of time, you don't have to leave your house. Okay. And it also means that you're, because you've got this little thing where you don't have to go outside to speak to your friends, you can speak to them whenever you want or all the time. So you're gonna be um, with your family, family for right. um, not as much of the time that you would spend before, um, you know, the internet wasn't okay. there. Okay. okay, let's get some other views. Uh, anyone else, Sal, have you got a, a point you'd like to raise? Do you think it's affecting your actual social communications with people because you speak to them so much online? Well, to be honest with me, I do speak to friends online, but nothing beats just telling them to like, meet down the park or going down to eat something. And, and yeah, it's true, you can't talk to friends in the same way as in talking to them in person. Online, it, it is fun, and usually I just more or less just mess around online, just adding random people to okay. conversation. Okay, let's, uh, let's get some more views. Um, we've got a point on the end there. I think I would disagree. I'll say that um, we still go outside, meet our friends and in school, etc. But it's when you get home and where other people live far away, you're strengthening that bond with them. Right. It's not like we're locked in a box and just typing away all day making friends with people. We're meeting with people, but to add to that, we're also getting the chance to speak to them in our houses. Okay. So I think it's an addition. Okay. Uh, Mubarak, you've got a point over here. Um, coming back to the point about like uh, businesses and selling online, I think that it's great how, especially now with the recession when it's harder perhaps for a business to start up, I think it's great how a business can set up online for a small amount and not have to pay for a premises, not have to pay for that, and uh, use social networking as a way of getting business because it's a lot 
easier and it's a lot more cost effective and I think it's, uh, it's a great way, especially in terms of business, for people to set up 